Good morning students so now we have reached the third lesson in our series on english studies in india and in this video lesson we will look at the debates uh, whether english uh, should remain a part of india or not uh, especially after the independence of 1947 okay so we will briefly look at the policies uh, like radha krishnan commission or you can say kothari commission and other related information to it but before beginning this video whatever we are going to discuss in these videos you can have all the notes on english studies in india through our study material on ugc net and english literature you can check the link in the description below to know more about our study material from our official website limitlessliterature.com all right so without any further ado let's begin this video so now after independence of 1947 indian government thought that it's time to reject the cultural and educational british rules okay so one of the simplest strategy is to remove the english language as soon as you reject a language as soon as you remove the english language and you will going to give the priority to indian culture and indian languages all right so you see language is not simply just a way to communicate it has deep connections with the culture also as we speak the language of english as we speak the language of west we are also inclining towards the habits and custom of the west okay so today also we see 40 to 50% of our indian culture is all about west our vocabulary our thinking is shaped by the english language okay so to keep the indian culture original as well as to preserve our indian languages we must remove english okay but this is not easy it is really difficult to remove the english language it has deeply rooted in india that it is not at all possible moreover indian languages are not that modern you see engineering medical science or we can talk about businesses finance uh, technology we study all these subjects in the form of english language so if you want to do btech if you want to do engineering medical science mbbs you don't have knowledge of these subjects available in our regional languages okay yes there can be the translated textbooks in hindi in telugu in tamil but if you want to gain the first hand knowledge you have to study these subjects directly through the english textbooks written by the foreign authors okay to have the first hand knowledge to first hand experience we have to study these subjects modern science subjects like medical science btech engineering business finances in the form of english language lala lajpat rai also asserted at that period of time after independence of 1947 that english education is compulsory it is for modern progressive ideals and of course india will have bright future if we study the english language if we study these subjects the modern science subjects so the first commission that is radha krishnan commission of 1948 1949 talks about the need to keep in touch with english this commission radha krishnan commission mentioned that let's stop the idea of making indian languages modern because it is very difficult to make these so many indian languages modern language okay there are so many indian languages 20 or 21 standard official language approved by the government okay so it is not at all possible to make all these traditional language the modern language but also we cannot reject these regional language just because it keeps us linguistically binded okay so this is a great example you see uh, we have different cultures we have different people who speak different languages in india this is really amazing you see i have a friends who are tamil who are telugu a few friends from kerala also last year i have been to a marriage in madurai tamil nadu and uh, except india no other country has so many cultures and living together peacefully so indians are very patient and we understand the differences between the cultures and that's how we indians are and to preserve our indian culture we have to preserve our in, our languages our regional languages also yes indians have to their faults when britishers came to india they imposed their language english we are defenseless at that time we didn't know how to defend our regional languages otherwise how can an outsider come inside our home and break our home okay so our own regional languages were not developed to stand against the english languages to stand against the english point of views so radha krishnan commission said that 
we will not reject the english language we will equally invest in all the languages be it english or hindi malayalam telugu tamil or whatever the languages we will equally invest we will equally balance in all the languages but at that time mahatma gandhi was already against this idea gandhi ji called english as the language of cultural enslavement for the indian people okay so for gandhi ji linguistic freedom is also as important as social and political freedom from britishers if you want to free from the control of britishers you have to free from their ling- language also from their language english also so indian government thought about it yes indian government cannot uh, cannot reject the ideas of mahatma gandhi so they said okay english will remain here regional languages will remain here we will make hindi language the official language of india but this idea was unacceptable by south indians you cannot impose hindi on everyone this will make hindi superior and other 20 or 21 indian languages like malayalam tamil kannada punjabi urdu nepali gujarati bengali uh, inferior okay so this controversy is kept on going for 10 to 15 years until a new education policy you can say kothari commission of 1964 was set up to resolve this social political or linguistic conflict okay so dr kothari said we will give equal importance to every language be it english hindi or modern regional languages okay we will give equal importance to every language they introduce three language system that is to be taught english hindi and also as well as the teaching of regional languages in schools but the question is what should be the medium of instruction at university level you can teach english you can teach hindi you can teach regional languages in a in a school level okay school level that is fine you can teach them you can translate the t- textbooks and you can provide them education in these three language system but what about the medium of instruction at university level kothari said at university level we will have english language as a medium of instruction and this kothari commission led to protest among different scholars and educationists across the nation people started arguing that this kothari commission is also following the same footsteps of macaule macaule wanted to replace all the languages at university level and to provide them the the language of english the medium of instruction this kothari commission is doing the same so everyone started revolting against this kothari commission of 1964 but kothari commission was also not wrong if you replace english with not so developed our own regional languages or hindi language or tamil language then we will fail to achieve academic excellence our languages are not so developed compared to english language we have to agree that because we don't have medical science or we don't have technology we don't have engineering we don't have the works of authors in hindi language or in tamil language okay so english language fulfills the development science technology humanities social science which none of the indian languages fulfill so if you reject english language as a medium of instruction in indian universities then the privileged class the families who are rich they will send their children to the west to get an education because you cannot have this much good education in regional languages okay english is an important thing make more and more doctors we have to study the first hand language that is english language okay if you make the other regional languages as a part of medium of instruction then people will go outside of india and they will start studying in oxford and cambridge this will lead to brain drain so we cannot replace english language as the medium of instructions in colleges and universities but then there is another problem that is if you make english as a you can say as the dominant language in universities and colleges then what will happen that the english speaking students will get the job and the non english speaking students will not get the job they will remain unemployed if you do not know english you will remain unemployed recently some south indian states has two language system like tamil nadu so where the chief minister the recently appointed chief minister said that we will not teach hindi in our schools and colleges so tamil and english language is the only medium of instruction in tamil nadu these are the politicians they do some you can say political stances to gain the votes of the people okay so language is still a big issue we cannot remove english and at the same time we cannot make it superior as it will lead to 
the privileged class to rule rule the country so to resolve this problem of kothari commission of 1964 a new policy came that is national policy on education 1986 in this commission they focused on improvement on the denied communities like women scheduled caste and scheduled tribes whatever can be the language be it english hindi kannada tamil telugu whatever be the language doesn't matter we have to give education we have to give the gift of education to every poor people women scheduled caste scheduled tribe and those who cannot afford the education this is a great step at least indians have started thinking to focus on real problems that is poverty hunger and illiteracy but still political parties for their own benefits try to impose the languages and cultures and all these debo- all these debates to gain the votes of the people okay so there are bigger problems than language problems 3000 babies 3000 children die before the age of 5 every year in india so this commission on national policy of education 1986 began to focus on the real problems and uh, again there was another commission that was in 1990 and that is rama murti commission this rama murti commission of 1990 came to review the previous one national policy on education 1986 and this commission also opposed and criticized the macaulin idea of educating only a few through the english language okay so this commission is also against uh, the english language but they cannot do anything so the real problem is to provide the gift of education to uh, backward classes to villages who don't know english whatever be the language system uh, try to provide them the education gift of education rather than focusing on these language uh, conflicts okay in 1998 atal bihari vajpayee came uh, bjp bharatiya janata party came and they tried to make the english language try to provide the indianized spiritualized nationalized study okay so they also made compulsory sanskrit class sanskrit language from class 3 to class 10 we can opt for sanskrit language to, we can learn sanskrit language in our schools uh, they also try to make indian studies most important you see indian aesthetics indian aesthetics is a subject we study in english literature this subject has nothing to do with english language with english literature okay but we study this indian aesthetics just so that we can keep our indian culture and we should be able to know what all are the contributions made by sanskrit literature in the field of arts and theaters and dramas okay so we are studying vedas upanishad indian aesthetics as well as english language okay now to a great extent we have made english language our own language english is used to represent the ideas of indianness customs cultures spirituality in english and whatever be the medium of instruction we must able to educate ourselves to become more literate so that we can do the betterment of india of our nation whatever be the language all right so this is what all i have to share in this video we will uh, discuss more about english studies in india in our upcoming lecture that's it for this video thank you